Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I am going to do the uh, Roxy Creations Weekly Challenge. I believe this is week three that I am doing again. Um, but um, I'm a little behind as you guys are probably well aware. But this particular week uh, was to create a journal cover using recycled material. Um, in her video, she used an Amazon package. I also used an Amazon package, um, but I decided to use something a little bit different. I can actually show you guys real quick the ones that I already made. But like I said, um, I don't have the video for those, but this is one of them. This was from a cardboard uh, box. And this one was the other half of that cardboard box. Uh, it's upside down. There we go. So I will most likely be making journals out of these guys. Um, but I also wanted to go ahead and do the process with you guys as well. So uh, it doesn't actually take me 45 minutes to do this. So I'm not going to set a timer. The challenge is to do it in 45 minutes. Um, but like I said, it doesn't actually take me 45 minutes. Those, um, journals that I just showed you, I did both of them in 45 minutes. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start. So this is just, um, a flyer that out of my junk mail, uh, I get these like every so often and I liked the sound of this one and I liked the weight of this one. So I just grabbed this and decided I would go with that. I did cut it down to size already. It is a 12 by 9. That is what I prefer. That makes it very, very easy when I am trying to, you know, get papers to fill it up. So this particular piece of paper here is Stamperia. It is from the Alchemy Collection. Uh, and I'm going to put this on the inside of the cover. And so basically, I'm going to glue this down to this paper. Um, uh, let's see. I think this, I don't know if I want to use this or if I want to use Fabri-Tac. I think I want to use Fabri-Tac. Um, just because I don't really want it to be all warpy and, you know, wonky. So I'm going to glue the inside of this. Now, in her video, she didn't decorate the cover. Um, she just assembled the cover. Uh, and to me, the assembly doesn't really take that long. It's the decorating that takes the long time for me personally. Um, like, I can definitely pull out a lot of these uh, journal covers, but it's the decorating part that takes a while for me. And it really just depends on how extensive you get with the, um, the decorating. Like, are you going like ham with it? Or are you just kind of doing casual? You know, it just really depends on what it is your, your outcome, your goal is, you know? All right. So... We're going to make sure this is going the right direction. All right. And we're going to put this down here. And we're going to start lining that up. Now this is a 12 by 12 paper. So as long as I just line it up with the edge here, it should, in theory, work out to be proper. I just need to... Uh, get it to, right now it's not cooperating because it's too far over. So I'm going to pull this up a little bit. There we go. Because I can trim the sides if need be. That is not a problem. All right. So I am going to go ahead and cut this off here and stab the mic with my paper. And you do want to keep this because you could um, 
you can make tags or pockets or flips or you know whatever with it all right so now i'm gonna take this thing here i'm just gonna spread this glue out a little bit my hands are getting dirty from this newspaper print all right so this is going to be the inside and as you can see i didn't get it quite right with the this print because i i cut it when it was folded making it um in theory six inches but my particular trimmer there isn't a line to measure a six inch mark so you kind of have to guess but what i am going to do is i'm going to chop that little piece off right there now i can just cut it off actually with my scissors You could also use a sand block or sponge or whatever. You could just sand the side of it, whichever. So that is our inside cover. And so the outside, I'm actually going to use rice paper. I really, really, really love this fairy. Um, this is from an ITD collection. I don't know what the name of the collection is. I just know that it's an ITD paper. Um, I am working on that, but as of right now, I do not have ID, ITD papers yet. They're a Polish company. Okay. So I wanna, wanna do that. And let's see what happens. If I just fold this over, what's that look like? Oh, well, it's not bad. Not bad, but I think I would rather... Okay, so I am going to fabric this as well because I plan, I don't know if this is going to work, but I plan on sewing around the edges. Because I got a new Schmancy sewing machine, so I want to play with it. All right, so I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. So I want to make sure it gets on nice and straight. Okay. Uh, well, rice paper and fabric tack are not friends. It is coming through right there. It's sticky. Oh, look, there's FedEx. I actually turned the camera on because I thought we were done getting mail today. But that was just the USPS, not FedEx or UPS. Or as some of my friends call them, the brown man. So I always called them ups. You know, to be funny and cute, I just always call them oops. And they're leaving. Of course, that wasn't oops. That was uh, that was FedEx. And that could have been anything. Um, I don't think it's my Stamperia because they come through UPS. Oh no. And so this is going to be a fantasy journal here. It's probably going to be one of my less extensive ones. As you see, I'm not making a book. Just making a simple signature journal. This is just a cover though. I'm going to go ahead and cut this all the way across. Because I can use that. Okay. 
And then there's the front of that. Now let's move you guys out just a little bit. There we go. There we go. You can see it a little bit better. All right. So we're going to smear the glue a little bit on the inside. Okay. And now on the back cover, I'm actually going to use um, some more of the rice paper. And it is darker in fantasy still. It's just not the same one. It's a different one. So I'm going to use this one here. And I haven't decided which one I want to use because I love them all. But I really want this guy here. The guy in the the cloak but I really want this owl too so the struggle is for reals but if I do it here what I could do no because that would you could still see her face but you wouldn't be able to see her wings Let's see, what if I do it like this? And then open you up. No, because then I cut them off. I don't want to do that. Well, fiddle. Fiddle sticks. I think we'll just do it this way. All right. So I'm just going to cover the back here. And I do want the dude. I want the man's. He's very cool. And like mysterious. You can use pretty much anything for this rice paper. Um, hod, hod podge. <laughs> you can use Mod Podge. You can use Elmer's glue if you want. You can use glue stick. I'm just using Fabri-Tac because I don't want it to warp the paper. I don't want it too wet. <laughs> All right. And again, we're going to trim the sides, but we're going to keep this because um, we can use this on pockets and such. So I'm just going to trim this down. And I'm going to find some sort of trim. I'm not sure what yet. I'll find some sort of trim to put on the spine. Because I always try to secure my spines. And that way they're not just, you know, paper. Paper holding in paper, you know. So there is that. And there's the inside cover, the back cover. And in all honesty, it could go either way. <laughs> well, almost. Let's take this guy and do that. That way it just kind of blends it all together. I 
think of it as a blender, a blender tool. There we go. And now, like I said, you could do this is the outside cover, and this is the inside cover, or this is the outside cover. Um, now, either way, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm actually going to grab my Finnabar and I'm going to seal this. I meant to grab it and I forgot. Um, I'm just going to seal um, both this side and the other side. Um, that way, I'm just grabbing a couple couple of uh, parchment papers. But anyway, so I'm going to seal it. That way I can do other stuff to it if I want without damaging the, uh, the rice paper. Okay. And you can use pretty much anything for sealing this. I'm going to just use this. You could use a, uh, a spatula as well if you wanted. You could also seal the paper on the inside if you want. I'm only going to do uh, one side at a time. I always forget to turn my phone off when I start recording. Sorry, it wasn't that important. And if it was, they'll leave a message. All right. Wait, let go. Let go, my ego. And it doesn't have to be like super thick coating either. I'm not putting a super thick coating on this. It's just a very thin coat, uh, just enough to cover it basically and protect it. Um, <clears throat> and that's it. So like I said, I knew this wasn't going to take me 45 minutes, so I didn't even set a timer for it. Um, but I, I normally work really, really fast. So if it takes you 45 minutes, then, um, don't like think anything of it. Cause I mean, that's kind of the whole point of the challenge was to see what you could do in the, you know, in that 45 minute time frame. Um, but yeah, so this is it. This is the cover. I'm going to lay it flat like this so it can dry. I don't want it to actually be face down and drying. Um, where's my brush? I just got a voicemail. And so, like I said, I will also be sewing this. So I'm going to sew around the edges and figure out some sort of trim. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that just yet, but I'm going to figure out some sort of trim to go down the spine. Um, and give it some extra security. But I love this. I love these papers. I love this cover. And yeah, this is pretty awesome. And what I really like is you can still like see just a small, small hint of like color from the, from the background. Which I think is really, really cool. So anyway... That's it. That's the week three challenge. Um, and so keep in touch and I will um, be doing week four and five, as well as some of the other challenges that I want to do, uh, do throughout the year. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.